Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, Open Road for Two. Mylene and Randy here. And where are we coming from, Mylene? We are here on the Mojave Trail, also known as Old Government Road, Mojave Road. And this is an adventurous place with lots of history. Tons of history. On this um, adventure, we actually have our friend Chateau Tacoma that you've seen in previous videos. And we're joined by two Jeeps, uh, Robert and Scott. So we made some new friends on this trip. We're super excited to share it with you guys. If you're not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And do it join us on our adventures we love connecting with new people we love having you we want to inspire others to get out on the open road so let's get into this video let's go all right time the truck was loaded and we were ready to hit the road. We met up with the group and coordinated comms for the journey ahead. From our meeting location we had roughly 230 miles to cover to reach the start of the Mojave Trail. After traveling six hours or so, this was a great location to stretch our legs and do some exploring. you'll encounter several different types of terrain, washboard roads, rocks, but there are those occasions where you can open up your vehicle and just ride. One of the many historical waypoints along the Mojave Road is Fort Paiute. Fort Paiute was an outpost of Camp Caddy and later of Fort Mojave. It was one of a series of posts built to protect wagon traffic along the Mojave Road. Right, we're gonna put some pennies in the little penny can. So here's yours, honey. Let's go. Just after mile marker 41 is the famous penny can tree. It's a rite of passage for all travelers to drop a penny into the can. Keeping with tradition, we each dropped our wish and penny. Oh, yeah. 
there's a high roller in there. Is there some sil silver in there? I was going to say. Silver, <laughs> there's a quarter in gold. Farther along on the route, we came across the memorial for the Nevada Southern Railway. I've actually seen Robert's Jeep on two wheels. Dang. She's got talent, Johnny. She's got some talent. After traveling more than 10 hours, it was time for us to find a location to make camp and call home for the night. Shout out to Johnny for finding us an awesome camp for the night in this beautiful canyon. For those of you who don't off-road or overland, a day on trail really takes a lot out of you. We were all looking forward to a nice hot meal, relaxing by the fire, and just sharing stories and planning out the next day's adventures. And they camp in the snow. This is the campsite. And for the it's band, probably a good, yeah. good way to audition for them. Right, because then you kind of know. Stinkies in there. As always, remember the principles of leave no trace and pack in what you pack out. This is day number two of our adventure. Um, we kind of drove up from our first campsite that you saw earlier. And this is another this is another site. hidden gem up here again. It's just an amazing campsite. We're going to mark it on our Gaia for future trips. Um, just a spectacular site. Um, you'll see some from the photos, the rock croppings. Um, there's an actual like um, cooking. What do you want to call that? Uh, just like just a barbecue? Like a little, a little grill, yeah. Built I mean, in. You could, you could either put wood down or charcoal yeah. and, and cook right there. It's an amazing. And you can little, easily fit. Somebody's it. improved the area up here. Yeah, we have, what, four of us. You could easily fit maybe five rigs up here, just kind of spread out. It's not as flat as the other site we were at, but still the, the views, views just, and the privacy. Yeah. So um, we're continuing our journey. Um, we don't know what the day it holds. We're leaving that up to Mr. Johnny Walker. And we are here for the adventure and the fun. So let's go. Uh, oh, there's even more. OK. Hey, so we went there. Yeah. I don't know <clears> which <throat> one's the best. We passed uh, this that. is the first oh, time I yeah. opened them up. Did we pass the mailbox yet? Mm -mm. No, I have okay. not passed the mailbox OK. Uh, I think we bring the tanks in from this side. <laughs> <laughs> and flank the left. <laughs> In this digital age, it is so easy to overlook paper maps. It was nice that Robert brought some paper maps and we kind of just had a little planning meeting to see where we were headed. Also, maps give you a better overall focus on your surroundings.
The Mojave Road was not an accident of design. First traveled by the likes of Jedediah Smith and Kit Carson, its 138 miles generally follow paths to water, about 20 to 40 miles apart. Rock Springs, our current location, is an important stop along the trail, so much so that the U.S. Army designated it an official military post. along we're on a pretty washboard road right now some spots are a little bit rougher than others so we're on the left there's kelso dunes i believe kelso dunes, kelso the left. dunes. oh wow look at that that is cool yeah we're getting a lot of history on this tour from from everybody you know? over landings not just driving along i mean the people that we're with on this trip um wealth of knowledge learning a lot along the mojave road which just makes this trip off to our left more lively. In that same general area are the Mitchell's Caverns. Mitchell's, Mitchell's Caverns. caverns. Yeah. I think that's what makes doing this, being a part of history and then living it as you're doing the trail, just, I don't know, it's super cool and highly recommend it. Don't just come just to come and take the roads. Learn about the history of it. Stop uh, at all the sure points as well. I probably pull it out on this blacktop. Stop at those points of interest. Um, read about it. Learn about it. It kind of is just when you're on the trail and you're hearing it and then seeing it with your eyes. I mean, you're walking in history, and that's the beauty of doing these type of trips and going off road and doing it with people who also have a passion for history and adventure. We have a uh, section here that's actually paved, so. We're gonna make up some ground here and uh, put some miles ahead of us. We can see the, the road going for miles in front of us right now. Oh, We're yeah, coming I'll, down I'll into a valley. Turn it around and show it. Because hopefully today... It's a little nicer than the washboard. <laughs> definitely we, nicer than the washboard we just went through. We won't find camp in darkness. You can see behind us, we made it to... Or, the mailbox. There it is. So you stop here, you sign it, um, and the National Parks picks it up, keeps an update. Um, people put stickers on. You might find ours on there. Take a look. Um, we actually left something in the mailbox too. So this is a great little area. We stopped here for lunch. Everybody's refueling. Um, off in the distance is another little fun um, monument or... Little surprise one. Yeah, that people leave little goodies. Um, you'll see that later on. But um, great stopping point for lunch. It's right off the trail. And then once we're on, we're going to head back down on the road and keep going. And for our lunch, we made a little quick lunch, but we were looking for some hot sauce. And coincidentally, in the little mailbox, there's a pack of tapatio. So we took that and we left something behind and it's replaced. So whoever left so, it, thank, thank you. Thank you. We enjoyed the tapatio and hopefully somebody will enjoy what we left there as well. Yeah. So you'll know we left it if, it's, <laughs> if, 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 you, uh, if you find it. If so. you know, open road for two. <laughs> Shout out to some of the members of the Cali Yoda's group that we were able to meet over at the Mojave Mailbox. Hope you enjoyed the rest of your trip. Did you make it? I made it. We're down inside the lava tubes. Came down the, the the ladder there. It's big boy approved, actually. It's sturdy. Yeah. Don't worry about it. <laughs> now we're gonna go into the abyss. Here we go. Watch your step, because this stuff is sharp. Ah, my foot. Looks like part of it has caved in. After an amazing day filled with exploring and adventure, we set out to find our final camp for the trip. We each prepared a side dish to accompany the delicious ribeyes Robert grilled up for our friends giving meal.
This was our first trip with Robert and Scott, and we can't wait to hit the trails with them again soon. to Traveler's Monument. Yes, we did. We put our rocks down. We each did one. So if you ever come out this way, take a look and see if you can find it. Um, we'll give you a hint. Uh, beach to mountains. That's our little hint. So um, hope you guys can make it out on the Mojave Road, Old Government Road, and put your own little piece onto this Traveler's Monument to say, hey, I did it. I accomplished I it. it. Remember, if you're out on trail and you see some litter, stop, pick it up. We all need to do our part to keep our trails and our land clean. We are almost done with the Mojave Road. We made one last stop for lunch and to stretch our legs at an abandoned mine. The rigs have been put through the paces. We all are a little dusty, but feeling accomplished for having made it this far. We know it was nothing like what the early settlers faced, but this 150 plus mile journey was rewarding for us none the same. Check it off the list. Woo.
She nope, got it done. That was not the shallows. <laughs> Thanks for sharing that with me because you got one and I got one. Absolutely. Love it. We hope you enjoyed this video and the adventure with us. Again, if you're not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button. We'd love to take you with us on our adventures. Give us a thumbs up. Comment below. Yeah, we love connecting with you guys. If you have any questions or just want to send us a positive note, you know, connect with us. We love it. And until next time, we'll see you on the open road. Bye. Bye.